Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at relationships and the use of them when creating pivot tables when you don't have access to Power Pivot and when you need to access data from multiple tables in creating your pivot table. So let's take a look and see how easy this is to do in Excel. Now here I have four tables and you have to convert your data ranges to tables in order for this to work. And, and this table up here has sales number, their name, and their territory. Below that I have product name, product number, cost and selling price, and again below that I have customer name and customer number. And then I have a list here of transactions, and if I do a control N, you'll see I have about 5,100 transactions here. And I have sales numbers and customer numbers, product numbers, but no names, no territories. So if I wanted to do a total sales or quantity by territory, I would need to do a VLOOKUP and expand this table to include that data. Or if I wanted to include the customer names rather than just their numbers, I'd have to pull that from this table here and again expand that table so that it can be included in my pivot table range. But there's another way to do that and that's using relationships in Excel for our pivot table. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select any one of my tables here and I'm going to go up to the ribbon to the insert tab and select pivot table. The create pivot table dialog box pops up. It gives me the name of my table, tells me I want to put it on a new worksheet and all that's perfect except the key here is selecting add this data to the data model. And I'll say OK. Excel will create a new worksheet, start my pivot table outline, and notice it'll give me the details of my sales team table. But above that you can see there's an active list and an all list. And if I click on all, notice all four of my tables now appear. So let's say I want to create a pivot table that's going to take information from my sales team, for example the territory, and my transactions, I want to grab the quantity here and I'm going to drag that down to values. So I'm pulling data from two different tables for my pivot table. Notice Excel has created the pivot table but all the values are the same and the reason that is is because I have not created any type of relationship between those two separate tables in order to allow Excel to create a single pivot table from various tables. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create and the create relationship dialog box pops up and now I have to select the table and the columns from those tables to create that relationship. So from the sales team I'm going to select the sales team which is their number and from the transactions it automatically populates sales team because it recognizes that those two columns from those two different tables are the, the missing link so to speak. I'll say OK and now Excel provides the correct data for each of my territories when pulling that data from two different tables to create that pivot table. So let's add one more. Let's say I want to take from the customers the customer name and to subdivide each one of my regions or my territories by customer name. Again, that relationship needs to be created. So I'll go to create and again from the transactions I can pull customer number and from the customers again customer number. I'll say OK and now Excel has provided the customer names along with the breakdown of the individual quantities for each region in my pivot table since I've created those relationships. And if I go up to the calculations group and select relationships, there are my two relationships that have been created. I can click on edit and see that transactions and customers two tables uses the customer field for that relationship to connect those two tables. And the same would be the case for the second one, if I click Edit, 
now between the transactions and sales team, it used the sales team's field from each one of those tables to create that relationship. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.